this is Captain Chaudhary. Today I am going to speak about terrestrial cockpit and I am also going to speak about the error in position when we take the terrestrial bearings. That means when we take two short bearings from the lighthouse or whatever. So if there is an error in the bearing then how much will be the displacement of the position. We are going to study that. So for that let us uh, uh, understand that we have taken a bearing of these two lighthouses okay they are on land somewhere and we have taken this bearing now these bearings with the error are giving this position which we will call the wrong position the, the correct position may be on this side or that side we are talking about similar error in the two bearings that means the bearing error might be clockwise or maybe anti-clockwise so maybe the correct bearing is over here so many degrees displaced on one side maybe this is the correct position now there is a displacement of the position this is the correct position and this is wrong position and the shift of the position that is the distance through which the position is shifted because of some similar error which is present in both the bearings Okay, we want to find out, we are trying to find out what is this distance equal to. Well, the formula is the shift in position is equal to the distance between the lighthouses multiplied by the error in radian divided by sine of angular separation. So suppose the distance between the two lighthouses is say 10 miles and we are talking about an error of 3 degrees which is present in the bearing. The 3 degrees uh, is a similar error. Either it takes the correct bearing to the clockwise of it or anti-clockwise of it. So this, in this particular case the correct bearing is the pet line and the wrong bearing is the sound line. The sound line is to the anti the sound line is to the clockwise of the correct bearing right and both the bearings have got this both the bearings have got this error present right okay so what is the shift in position shift in position would be distance that is 10 miles error in radian that means 3 upon 57.3 and sine of angular separation so angular separation suppose is 35 degrees the answer would be 10 miles multiplied by 3 upon 57.3 and multiplied by sine of 35 degrees. Another interesting thing about this displacement is suppose these are the two lights and this is the wrong position. If we are able to make a circle which passes through the two lights and the wrong position it should also pass through the correct position. At the moment let us only understand that the angular separation between the correct bearings and angular separation between the wrong bearings is same because the wrong bearing is the correct bearing plus minus an error and the error is similar. So when we uh, find the difference of the wrong bearings it is also same as the difference of correct bearings. Right? After this let us try and understand what is the terrestrial cogged head and what is the principle behind resolving the terrestrial cogged head. Well, the principle behind resolving the terrestrial cogged head is if we are able to draw a circumcircle of a triangle which is made by two lights and the wrong position, that circle also will pass through the correct position because the angular separation of the wrong bearings and correct bearings is same. And that's why if the circle passes through the correct position it would mean that the circle is position circle. If a set of two lighthouses can give me one position circle, a set of two lighthouses will give me another position circle and the intersection of position circles will be the fix. Let us look at the terrestrial coordinate now. What we will do is we will take three bearings. These bearings might be having some similar error. The similar error in the sense like they might be uh, say 3 or 4 degrees east error 
which is there in all the three bearings which we don't know or maybe three or four degrees west error we don't know what is the error but whatever is the error is same in all the three bearings so what we say is the error is same in magnitude and direction in all the three bearings so we will plot the wrong bearings and thereby we'll get the cogged hat three uh, compass bearings which were say for example 350 degrees and then uh, another one was say 65 degrees and the third one may be say 115 degrees so these three lighthouses are there 350 degrees that means the bearing comes like this okay and the angle between these two bearings is 75 degrees right so uh, 65 would mean something like uh, this one and thereafter the third bearing that is 115 would mean uh, something like so a cogged hat is formed we shape the cogged hat these are the three bearings taken at the same time 350 65 and 115 degrees the angle between the first two bearings is uh, 75 degrees the angle between the first two bearings is 75 degrees and the last two bearings is 50 degrees so how do we resolve the cogdet this cogdet that is formed we must resolve the cogdet geometrically how do we do that we join the two lights okay the idea is this point this point that is the two lights and the wrong intersection which is this point can be considered as a triangle and what we can do is take any two sides say for example this side and this side and draw a perpendicular bisector of these two sides these perpendicular bisectors would meet at the circumcenter circumcenter means if I draw a circle from here it will pass through all these three points that is the two lights and the wrong intersection alternately what can be done is 350 difference 65 is 75 degrees 90 minus 75 degrees is 15 degrees what we can do is we can draw a line of 15 degrees over here and also over here so if we draw 15 degrees on either side that means on the line joining the two lights at the lights then these lines meet also at circumcenter so with this as center and this as radius let me draw a circle right let me draw a circle it will pass through the wrong position it will also pass through the two lights now this particular circle is also a position circle because it is also passing it is also bound to pass through the correct position let us see where the correct position is and as I told you the three bearings that is 350 to 115 the angular separation from the first bearing till the last bearing is less than 180 degrees we must get the position outside the cognate let us see we will prove that if the angular separation uh, is less than 180 degrees the position is actually outside the cognate for the similar errors in all the three bearings so let us now join these two lights now these two lights have the angle 65 difference 150 that is uh, 50 degrees between them the two bearings 90 minus 50 is 40 that circumcenter can be found out by making an angle of 40 degrees on the two lights and you can see if I draw an angle of 40 degrees here and 40 degrees here I'm able to get this point which is the circumcenter let me draw the circle which is passing through this light this light and the wrong position this is a position circle so a correct position must be on this circle also correct position is also on this circle this is the correct position and you have seen the position is outside the cognate so you have seen if there is similar error that means same in amount and direction similar error in all the three bearings we get a cognate we must get a cognate and that cognate can be resolved geometrically geometrically means uh, either you draw the perpendicular bisectors of the sides or you draw an angle that is 90 minus theta that is complement angle and get the circumcenter right so this is the position from this position actually you can take the correct bearings of all the three lights and find out the compass error the mean of the three compass errors would be 
the compass error that is present in taking the bearings. The importance of uh, the knowledge about cog net is while the vessel is coasting, it is expected that the duty officers should take the uh, uh, coastal bearings, should take the bearings whenever it is possible and invariably the duty officer might take all the three bearings on the same side. Probably the, all the three bearings will have the same error which is similar in magnitude and direction. And then when a cog head like this is found and a person who has no knowledge about the cog head, he would say the center of the cog head is the position whereas the ship's position is actually outside the cog head. So we must know that if the angular separation is uh, less than 180 degrees the position is outside the cog head and if the angular separation is distributed over 360 degrees that means the three bearings cannot be bound in 180 degrees right then the position is inside the cocktail.